The Friars hit the road for much of January as they were in full swing of their Big East schedule, playing only three of their eight games at Alumni Hall. Providence had some exciting contests against Butler, Seton Hall and Marquette, but fell just short in two of those games. With two starters out due to injury, including sophomore guard Sarah Beal missing the remainder of the season, the Friars went 1-7 in the highly competitive conference. Some highlights for over the past month included the January 11th game against the league's top-ranked team, Seton Hall, who was also receiving votes in both national polls at the time. The Friars battled it out with the Pirates at Alumni Hall all the way to a one-point finish, where Seton Hall barely left Friartown with the win. 68-67 was the final. Alexis Harris and Shanice Baldwin each picked up double-doubles, and Evia Scola shot for her season-best 19 points. On January 23rd, the Friars earned their first road victory of the season in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, when they played Marquette. Down 12 in the second half, the Friars rallied to defeat the Golden Eagles 66-58. Baldwin helped the Friars down the stretch with her 14 points all coming in the second half. Freshman guard Allison Lewis posted a career-high 17 points. Rounding things out, Alexis Harris led the Friars in rebounding with 11 rebounds. Now let's send it over to Friar Hoop Scoops reporter Chris Fama. Thank you once again, Nick. As always, the Hoop Scoop coming to you from the road in a lovely Marriott hallway. My name is Chris Farmer, along with senior guard Corinne Robinson. Corinne, I say senior guard, and I think here's your final chance, your last season. Your basketball life has taken you all over the country. You're fired up for your final year. How difficult was it to get injured right before the season started? Uh, I think it was very difficult, but it made me that, want to come back that much more. And... Uh, try to strive to get better that much quicker so when you do finally come back how difficult was it to get yourself basketball ready uh it was somewhat difficult but with my teammates and my coaching staff i found it to become really easy and uh get back into practice and the lineup and produce um for games as well speaking about being in the lineup sort of thrust into a starting role with all the injuries that happened with both sarah and tori going down but you've been playing some great minutes since the injuries occurred uh, how good does it feel to be out there producing the way you are uh it feels really good i have great teammates to support me with that great uh coaching staff and it becomes a lot easier when you have people behind you like that now during all of this your family had a bit of a setback a tragedy with the home burning down how has that affected your game but more so how has it affected your personal life? Uh, I feel like it's affected in the beginning it affected my game a lot because I wanted to be at home with them and that's all I could think about. But as far as personal life, um, I feel like it's affected me a little, but it's happened before. So it's kind of like, all right, well, you can't do anything about it. It's time to get back on your feet and keep moving forward because that's what they want you to do. And tell me about the support that you received, not only in Firetown, but outside of Firetown. Uh, support outside of Firetown has been phenomenal like it's just something I can't explain like I didn't expect it at first and when it did come it was speechless it had finally here we are we're in the stretch run second half of the conference season what are you anticipating from yourself and from your team as you finish up the year uh we have a lot of games left and I mean we have nothing to lose at this point it's either for our seniors especially it's time to just go hard in these nine games and make the best out of it because there's no turning back after this. Very polished, folks, but trust me, there's a lot more personality behind that, and I've been waiting for this interview for a long time. It's Corinne Robinson, the now starting point guard of the Friars. It's the Hoop Scoop, and we'll have much more. And we're back once again with the Hoop Scoop, joined by Friars third-year head coach Susan Robinson, frontal coach. You've just had to transform your team on the fly in the middle of the season down two starters. We just talked to Corinne. She's been a big part of it, obviously. Yeah, she has. Yeah, um, she's really stepped up in a big way. And, you know, we recruited her to not just be a backup point guard, but play both the point and the two and to really even and even push for a starting position. So she's always been a starter and until she came here. She was a, a junior college All-American. So she's certainly... Uh, had great moments in her history of leading teams mm -hmm. and you know we really kind of expect nothing less in, our, in this case not just with personnel but how have you gone through this transformative phase what are you what's your team doing now that's different than you expected them maybe doing when you had sarah and tori in the lineup well i think the one one thing they talk about is uh, and the kid we talk about as coaches but the kids talk about it is everybody they know each person has to step up their role and so i think each person has done that a little bit, um, and they continue to work to improve every day. This really is three seasons, and you're about to start the third season, the second half yes. of the conference schedule. What has your team learned already? Well, it's a, it, this second half is a big focus 
for us. Um, we've learned that we can play with, uh, you know, with the exception, we've had leads in every Big East game except for DePaul. Yeah. So I think our kids really believe that they can play and beat in almost any team in this conference. So we're really focusing on this second half of league play to show improvement and, you know, bottom line, show improvement and wins. But that, um, that like eight-minute mark in the second half, that's where we really got to show improvement because that's been our downfall. And, you know, thus far. Well, it's always best if you're playing your best basketball at the end of the season, something that you can springboard off to yeah. the next year, and Absolutely. certainly in the off season. Yeah, and, well, you just, um, you know, play, down, play well down the stretch. You go into the tournament, and that's why we have a tournament. It's anybody's game. Big East basketball take two the second half of the season. It's the coach. It's the hoop scoop. Back to Nick. Thanks, Chris. The Friars have two home games left this month and will be on TV or online services for most of their remaining games. Trips to St. John's and Creighton will be broadcast on ESPN3 and the Big East Digital Network before they come home on the 20th to take on Marquette and DePaul. We'll have more information on that game in just a second. The Friars finish off the month on the 27th with a game against Villanova. That game will be broadcast nationally on Fox Sports 1. And look ahead to March 1st, the Friars take on Georgetown at home for the final game of the regular season before the Big East Tournament. Coming up this month in February is the Pink Out Friar Town Night on Sunday, February 22nd against DePaul at 1 p.m. This great event will help promote breast cancer awareness with the Friars taking the court with custom pink uniforms. Limited edition t-shirts will be on sale at the game for only $15, with the proceeds benefiting the Gloria Gemma Breast Cancer Resource Foundation. It's a great event to show your support for the Friars and the Gloria Gemma Foundation. In addition to Pink Out Night for the third year in a row, Rhode Island Medical Imaging has donated game-worn Pink Out jerseys from last year's game and are being auctioned off as we speak at Friars.com. Click the auctions link on the women's basketball page to bid on the jerseys. All proceeds from the auction will benefit the Yao Cancer Fund as part of Play for K. There even is a Buy It Now option for these jerseys. All of this is made possible by RIMI's generous donation, allowing the program to purchase the uniforms to help support the cause. Thank you so much for watching Friars Hoop Scoop. Before we end the show, here are some bloopers from the past month. Friday night against Creighton. We did our court shot. And you can have, most important, you can have a great chill. <laughs> you have a bite of. You have a bite. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you can have. Most important, you can have. Green for green? green.